I have always had an interest in environmental sustainability and grew up learning about the impact our actions have on the planet. When I began freshman year, I, as most overachieving high school students, had a distinct fear of failure. So when I learned about our regional science fair sitting in my grade nine science class, I signed up. This was around the time I began my exploration into the world of oil spills and how exactly we cleaned them up. What I found surprised me, so much so that I dedicated three years of research to finding a way to fix this major problem. Currently, we are cleaning up oil spills using synthetic polymers, essentially petroleum-based products. Let me break this down a little bit. We are currently using petroleum-based products to clean up a petroleum-based spill. This didn't make sense to me. At the end of the day, all of these oil-based and oil-saturated products are sent to landfills, where they don't degrade for millions of years and cause contamination to local soil and groundwater. It's truly detrimental to the environment and completely ineffective. We essentially relocate this major problem as opposed to sustainably and effectively dealing with it and its root cause, the overconsumption of oil and oil-based products. I realized that if a sustainable method didn't exist to clean up oil spills, I needed to create one. And today, I'm going to talk about how exactly I achieved this using food waste. For this, let's turn to my breakfast. Let me explain that. I wanted to know if there was a certain natural product that had the same super absorbing ability as these oil-based sponges. And I found it, right next to my half-finished morning toast. Allow me to give some background. A polymer is a long chain molecule made up of multiple repeating components called monomers. Think of a paperclip chain, with each paperclip representing a smaller group of molecules. Both the size and structure of a polymer gives it a super absorbing ability. And there are in fact many natural polymers, the most abundant source being found in, you guessed it, oranges. Oranges contain large amounts of a polysaccharide called pectin. This, alongside the porous quality of an orange peel, gives it an amazing absorption capacity. I asked myself, if this natural product has such amazing environmental implications, why aren't we harnessing them? Really, there isn't an answer. Last year, 46 million metric tons of oranges were produced globally. 46 million. Think about how many peels might be tossed by individuals, families, and industries. The implications of this are crazy. By making use of a common household garbage item, we have the ability to clean up oil spills efficiently, effectively, and most importantly, sustainably. Thus began my testing. For months, I composed various methods and combinations to clean up oil spills using orange peels. This resulted in my threefold solution. For local spills, fresh peels can easily be used to clean up the oil for later, for later removal and reuse. For spills larger in both surface area and quantity, I created a naturally sourced polymer powder, one that can be placed upon an oil spill either on water or on roads and have it congealed to form a sponge for easy removal. My latest creation is a naturally sourced polymer paper towel one that can be placed upon an oil spill and has an oil absorption capacity 10 times that of the one currently on shelves. The key to these is that not only can the oil be removed for reuse from the absorbent, but they are sustainable. Formulated using natural products, this is a biodegradable and eco-friendly method to effectively clean up oil spills. So that's my story. How a self-conscious 14-year-old girl realized there was a major environmental issue and dedicated herself to fixing it. While I will continue on my journey in making the world more eco-friendly, I ask of you three things. The first of which is to pay attention to the products you purchase and bring into your homes. While these cheap plastics may look enticing, they are truly detrimental to the environment. The second is to consider alternative forms of transport. Not only is biking and walking beneficial for mental health, it's beneficial for the planet by making use of less petroleum by means of cars. My third and final message is to take a closer look at what you throw out. By making use of a common household garbage item, I'm on my way to sustainably remediating oil spills. What can you do with your garbage? <laughs>